I've never seen something look so beautiful. Hey guys, Good Marks Goods here. And I've got for you all today a quadruple plated Wilcox three candle stick candelabra thing. It's very rustic and very antique, but today is attempt at answering the question how much silver was plated onto quadruple plated pieces and for this I decided to use this as a victim because it's probably not going to be able to be resold because there's a huge dent right here on the body and the plating is getting worn and on the, the bottom here there's a bunch of plate that's lost where the darker the darker metal right there that's base metal, the lighter metal is right here. There's still a little bit of plating left right there, but I'm going to go ahead and destroy it. I guess that it lost its plating when wax fell off of the candles. They would go onto this area that, that accumulates the wax. And when you take the wax off, maybe it took the plating along with it. I don't know. I'm just guessing, but the plating on all the other places seems to be okay, so there's a decent amount of plating here. I had done a butter dish about last year, we did a butter dish, and I wasn't very happy with the results because it felt like it was a very low yield. So hopefully with Wilcox, I know that Wilcox is a, is a solid maker, they made very beautiful pieces, and they had a lot of the market share back in the day, so hopefully they plated their quadruple plated pieces with quite a lot of silver. So we're gonna go ahead and use reverse electrolysis as I'm gonna get a bucket of water. And when I had done a scrapping video um, deplating silver plate, somebody in the comments suggested that I use dilute hydrochloric acid. That's a uh, dilute hydrochloric acid. And I've been using that, and it's worked like a charm. The speed at which it pulls the silver off is bang, it's beautiful. And the acid, the acid captures the base metals in the solution, so it's very easy to clean up. I used to have to deal with base metal in my silver, and that would destroy the percent of silver, the purity of my product, and this way I think it's going to be beautiful and it's going to be fun. Let's get, it, let's get it going. Oh, and of course to get yield I need to weigh the piece. So we'll weigh the piece and write it down. And this weighs 1278 grams. Currently, 1278 grams. Alright, let's go. Okay, so this is a pretty simple process here. We got the bucket with water in it. I've got the candle holder here. I have a stainless steel and knife. I'm going to use as the, I think it's the Anode? Mm. Whatever. I don't know the science behind this stuff very well. But anyway, we we'll take the It's like we're not gonna be able to make this work. It's too big. We can need to use something bigger. <laughs> okay, so here it is, guys. I got the bucket of water over here. The piece is sitting in the bucket of water. It's going to, we're going to use a knife. That's uh, gonna be the anode, I believe it's called. And since I'm going to be using kind of a nasty chemical, and all it is is muriatic acid. They, they sell it at Lowe's. 
called Clean Strip and it's for concrete etching or something. I've no idea what the hell that is. But anyway, it's nice to find uh, hardcore chemicals at a supply store like this and we're just going to add a little bit since it's going to be nasty. I'm sure it's not that dangerous but this is kind of nasty. I'll go use a lab coat and gloves just to be safe. I don't want to send the bad, bad press into you guys. Just a little bit. It's not a ton. I'm sure that's even too much. That's probably way too much already. But. Now all we've got to do is hook up the piece. The piece goes black. No. The piece goes red, actually. Okay, had to, had to mess with it a little bit. But now we've got 1.4 2 amps. Two 2.35. The acid works so fast. We see the, the reaction here. To the reaction. See how cloudy it's getting, guys? That's how you know it's working. And then, okay, so the amps dropped to 2.6 now. Interesting. Again, so it's, the acid is going to capture the base metals, hopefully, and I'll have a nice little pile of silver on the bottom of the bucket we'll be able to recover. At least that's the plan. Now the average is kind of mellowed out at 2.35 amps. It was so interesting. I don't I wonder what the science behind all this is. Like why the amps went up, it shot up and then it went down. Now it's holding steady. I'll run this for like two minutes I think and then I'll I'll flip it over and then I'll put it upside down. Hey, that should do the trick, I think. Shouldn't take too too long to do this piece. Beautiful. Well, I don't really see any silver actually falling off. I don't know. It's uh, kind of hard to, to see this one. It is pretty though. I'm gonna go ahead and I think it's time to flip the piece over so that the other side is facing the steel plate. Let's do that. Alright, so when I I moved it I could see some of the silver just falling off, and it's now, it's now floating on the top. So we just didn't think silver flows. Let's give it a minute. It'll, it'll sink, probably. I love how well it, this works. If we get higher silver prices, somebody could easily do this for At least side income. You know, we get rich doing this. Scrapping silver plate off. As a hobbyist, but... We keep getting higher silver prices. You're, you're definitely going to be able to make it. Some decent side income. So now I'm going to flip the piece over on his head. Hopefully it'll stay that way. Hopefully it will balance on, on the middle cup so I can run it upside down because I think it's good now that this side anyway.
had to use a broom, a dustpan to stabilize it. Okay, so my amperage dropped down to 1.454. It is stable currently. I know that your, the reaction is kind of blocked, but trust me, guys, it's still going. It's still going all right. I have to turn it on the side in a minute. Yeah, this is. It's working good. Big props to uh, the the viewer who suggested that I use this acid. I think it it still worked fine just water the last time I did it, but it's it's working just great with the acid as well. The plan is to I'm gonna run it for two two more minutes and then flip it over and then I gotta get the bottom next. So I'm looking for a yield of at least four percent because that's what would be wonderful if I could get a four percent yield from quadruple plate. That means it well. On average, I think that regular plating is around 1% yield by weight. So a quadruple plate should be 4%, and that, that would make sense to me. But the last time I did, I got barely 1% when I did a quadruple plate a piece. So hopefully this is going to be better. That is the goal. At 4% silver yield. Now think about this, okay guys? If you got a pound of plate, well, let's just say it's a thousand, a thousand grams of plate. Four percent of that is forty. So around an ounce of silver for every kilogram. It's a little bit more. It's a little bit more than an ounce of silver per kilogram of silver plate quadruple. But I don't think it's that high. I don't think it's that high. The solution is very dark now. We, we do notice it, how dark the solution is. Turn it off again. Looking good. I ended up moving it a little bit closer to the steel so the amperage went up to 1.95. Flies are out in force. My family is going to kill me. That's fine. I'll die. I'll die for the content. So how are people today? It's a crazy world out here, huh? Like... Does anybody understand anything that's going on in the world these days? I really don't. I kind of give up trying to understand. So much about the world that just confuses me. I like silver, my antiques, you know. It's so easy to understand. It's a science. How you plate how you plate something. It's a science. No fuzziness here. Although it can be an artist art form as well, but this is science. You don't have to deal with confusing shit. Alright. That's good enough for that. Now, onward to, uh, onward to the bottom. I hope this is going to work.
Okay, we're currently getting the bottom of the piece now. They actually be on the surfaces, I think. Time of, uh, the total time eclipsed is about 15 minutes. That's yeah, just because I don't know what I'm doing, setting it up either. So you can probably get better at setting up the pieces. You're touching it. When I'm touching the piece, the, some of the silver actually falls onto the gloves. I'm going to try to rinse the gloves off. Wait. Knock a little bit back, more silver back into the, the solution. Okay. Yep. I should be looking at pretty pure stuff, it's, at least as far as I know. That's why we're using the acid. So today, I I plan to deplate as much crap as pos as I possibly can. But unfortunately, since this is a since this is a controlled test to get a yield, I'm not going to be able to plate anything else on this on this particular water source. So what we're going to do, I have I have the blue cooler back there, so I'm going to continue on. I'll be I'm going to be deplating scrap in the blue cooler to see just how much I can do today. Get get rid of some of my ex excess plate. It just sits around and until I get get it sold or or de-scrapped and then I'll send the scrap metal to the, to the scrap yard. I'm just paying storage fees or it's taking up space in my home and that's kind of not ideal but I'm still in I'm still in my accumulation phase guys so until we have silver at a fair fair market value I think that Buying this scrap metal is a good idea. If we get 1.5% on average as the yield, okay, here's how I think about this, okay? That, I've done the math. That's about 10 grams a pound of silver. 10 grams a pound of silver. Now at $100 silver, that's $30 in silver scrap value. Just from silver scrap value alone, and that's not including the value of the base metal. Now of course, since we've always had silver so low, like $15 or less, the scrap value on the silver is not has never been that high to begin with. But now we're starting to get to a point where it might be worth a refiner to take in my silver in bulk and just do the entire like a ton of material at once and recover all that silver and then they can sell off the base metal and they'll pay me most of the the value of course they're going to take a refiner a cut but in the past with silver being so cheap a refiner wouldn't even take a look at silver plate. They, there would be nothing in it for them. But if we continue to keep having higher silver prices, there will be a time where it will be worth a refiner's um, a refiner to look at plate seriously, and I could maybe get a good deal. It's a good term, and I could just send them a ton of material. Well. That's enough confused rambling for now. The point I'm trying to make is that there, there is going to be an inflection point where it will be worth the refiner's time to take a serious look at silver plate. And we can just use estimates of yield to ballpark a value based on, on the price of silver. Now uh, let's finish this depleting and get a yield next week. Uh, thank you guys for watching my video. I do appreciate it very much. Uh, good marks, good out. And I'll see you guys next week. We'll uh, take yield. Thank you.